Hello everybody, this is M Battles here again. Welcome back to Craftopia. Uh seamless map. So I'll do some exploring today. And I explored every cave, beat every cave. I'll show you guys uh I'll be uploading a video on all cave locations and walkthroughs and all cave loot and all the puzzles in the caves and how to do them. But the thing about the cave is it gives you a lot of blueprints. I'm not talking about any normal blueprints. I'm talking about good blueprints. Beautiful blueprints. Blueprints that you've been praying for. Alright. So. One of the blueprints is this. Right here what I got made in this bench. Chain restraint bullets. These things I've been waiting for them so long. It takes four of them to tie down a boss, and then you can uh, monster prison him and capture him, and then you can tame him. But the thing is that if he doesn't get tamed and breaks out your monster prison, then you're gonna have to put down four more of these to try and catch him again. And he has to be low health, around purple or yellow health, to be able to actually hit him with these and these aren't easy i mean these aren't cheap to make. they're not easy to make either but they're not cheap to make so when you use these and he breaks out of it you don't get them on the first try it hurts because you feel that cost because it takes a while now i'm going to show you what it takes to make them and all the ways you can get the items to make them and there's a bunch of different ways to go about getting the items uh, first off, you're going to need an improved workbench to even make them. So very first off, you're going to have to explore all the caves and find the blueprint for it to actually get it. But once you get it, you just click it and it's learned and then it's in this workbench. So to make it, it takes, let's see, here it is, gold parts and black gunpowder. Now gold and black gunpowder are the scrap parts is a little bit more difficult to get. That takes quite a couple steps. Gold, you can go mine. You can go... I think there's some enemies that you can make an automated farm for that drop gold. Not sure. I just killed a dragon a bunch, so I have tons of gold. And I didn't really need to worry about it. I think you can also buy gold from the... From the... Who's it called? From the merchants. But yeah, here it takes iron ingot, bolt, and spring. And then, okay, cool, that doesn't seem that much. Well, bolt and spring also take copper and iron ingot. So, they ain't cheap to make either. And, all, as everybody knows, it takes 300 iron ore just to make 100 uh, iron ingots. So, I've already had some smelting. I've been smelting for a while. I got some parts being made right here already. You can make them or you can buy these parts. And I, there's like a couple different routes you can take. I did almost all of them. So the first route I did was to buy them. You got to go over here to this town. There's going to be a merchant there. Once you get over there, Go to that merchant. He only takes um his cabbages. He only takes cabbages and he'll sell you things. And so one of the things he'll sell you is gunpowder and these parts right here. I forgot what they're called. Scrap parts. He'll sell you those scrap parts and gunpowder. Gunpowder takes one cabbage. Scrap parts take about five cabbages. So scrap parts is a little bit cheap. And to make and I built this little automated farm to just automatically grow cabbage. See, I got this thing called a multi-sling. You also find that um, that blueprint in one of the caves that just recently been unlocked. And this thing, it shoots cabbage seeds into that pot every 211 seconds. So it harvests one thing, and then 212 15 seconds later, it'll shoot it in there. In the rain, I got a sprinkler over here, which you can find blueprints for like most of the stuff I'm using in the caves. 
But it's raining right now, so I wouldn't even need that sprinkler. But I got that sprinkler right there. It hits all these farms. So this thing will just grow automatically. And then these choppers will chop it up. And then it'll be sucked up into this right here. They already got 252 ready to go. I got a bunch of seeds. And these are just in case I want to plant other stuff. And then I got one right here. 189. This is like 20 of these, um, what is this called? Farming plots. This is like 20 farm plots stacked on top of each other. And how you do that is like, you have to make sure you have this piece. I just put a farm plot down first. And then I have, well, I'll just, let me see if I can show you. Probably so what you want to do is just take it like this, go like that, boom, that's done like that. You're going to need one of these horizontal or diagonal walls. And then what I like to do, just do it in free build mode. Come in like this. Close as you can get. Yeah, kind of like that. Could be closer, but that, that should work. And then what you see, how I can place this right there. Place that right there, and then it'll be absorbed into that first one. And see, that's how you just stack them like that. And I think when you take this off, they might unstack. Oh, they don't. So I can take, okay. I didn't know I could take these off now. So I might just box these all in now. And... Maybe I could design a little better. I thought I had to keep this diagonal piece of wood. But yeah, that's how you do it. And you just throw some seeds in there. But like I said, I got it automated. I got the reapers. I cut it down. I got the planter that weed seeds it every like three minutes. And then I got the springer back here watering it all. And then I got this uh, monolith, whatever this thing's called, to keep this. So when I'm not here, this will just keep going like I was here. Boom, see, that's a lot already. And that's pretty, and how to get these plots, you can buy them from most merchants. Uh, and only merchants that take, like, plants are the ones you can usually buy it from. So, whatever crop you want to grow, you can grow and then just buy, like, a ton of those, these planters, or whatever they're called, farming pot. Plot. and then do that all right the next way you could do it is you can go down here well that's just okay i might as well finish this part first okay you would take if you want to do the cabbage way you would take this cabbage and you would go over here and there's a guy over here i'll show you that you're going to need to talk to, and he's gonna sell you it's like 20 cabbages per uh, spare parts so it's not cheap it takes a lot of cabbages and it takes actually that might not be I think it takes five cabbages per spare part and it takes 20 spare parts to make one uh, restraint bolt or ballista so this is the guy you're gonna want to talk to and he'll sell you cabbage seeds too. And if you don't have any cabbage seeds, you can just really punch this guy, kill him, and he'll drop a cabbage seed. Sometimes. Alright, this is what we need the scrap parts. And it costs five per scrap parts. And it costs 20 scrap parts to make one blister. And then, boom. I can't buy any more, but if I go home and sleep, then come back. Or even if I put a bed down right here, and go to sleep, and then go talk to him again, his, he'll be refilled. But I'd rather just teleport home because it's a lot easier and more efficient that way. Just to go home, see my bed, teleport back, and then teleport back. Because otherwise I'd have to remove my respawn point, and then I'd respawn at the beginning. Maybe a whole ordeal just to get back here. Uh, what you want to do is lay in bed, go to sleep. Home, wake up. The first of the month. Yeah, yeah. Go back. Talk to you again. Go buy more of those scrap parts. And if you want to, just to be safe, you can buy more of the cabbage seeds. And you can also buy gunpowder from them. So gunpowder is cheap though. It's only one cabbage per gunpowder. 
So like I said, the only really hard part is just just getting enough planters to set up or not planters, farm pots, plots. This guy doesn't sell farm pots, plots. I think most people do though. I don't know why he doesn't. Maybe it's just because it's mechanic. I know the person in the very first place you go sells them for five uh potatoes each. So you can go there do potatoes maybe because they want it to be harder and if you could just get plots from him and the scrap parts and gunpowder you basically have everything you need so i had to make it so you had to grow two different or separate crops oh i could just take this potion what am i gonna do yeah these potions are key to getting around this game i got no helicopters good i don't i can't use a biplane it's just terrible to fly but these green potions get me around real quick And then, boom, once we get all these, once you see, that's the plant route. How many did we get? Down from, there we go. We got 228. All right. Gold black jump powder. See, I can make 11. See, it costs a lot, 20 per. Yeah, 20 gold scrap parts, 5 uh, black gunpowder. Gunpowder is easy to get. Gold's pretty easy to get. If you can kill a dragon, you can get basically as much gold as you want. I might just go catch a dragon. But after this, I'm going to catch a frog dupe. Yeah, so that's the that's the farming way. If you want to go that rate. And it's automated, so you can go fuck off and do whatever you want once it's just making you money. Now the second way, see, but sometimes they spit it out and I don't know how to get, how did that even get there? The animation is a little fucky. I don't know what's going on. Why it's like that sometimes. Yeah, it's still like that. All right. Now the second way, both these ways are going to involve merchants, but the second way is going to involve a different kind of merchant. Let's see. This is my little automated farm. Green momos, when they explode, they do a healing aura or explosion that heals everything around them. So I have them dropping in the water. Like I have another momo there, another momo here. And they'll mate and then drop one into the water. And eventually that one will drown and die. But it'll explode, healing everything in this breeder, this breeder, and this breeder. And then I have the same kind of setup over here, but. A little janky. I was just lazy. Just wanted to get it done quick. So usually I have two momos here, and they drop into that water, and it heals this guy. This is a merchant, and I'd have another merchant here, and they would just infinitely make more merchants. That would be pushed over here, and this is my uh, merchant farm thing. Now I got like twenty merchants in here, and you can buy like a bunch of good stuff from them. I always keep one of these in my pocket because you can buy this. If you're out of log, you just don't want to go chop a bunch of trees down. You just grab him and buy whatever you want. They sell copper, iron, silver, and gold. So you can, if you have the money, you could just buy hella copper and iron and gold from him. And they sell teleportions, so potions. So that's really good. So, like, if you had hella money, you could just buy hella from each and every one of these guys and then use that to make because it takes copper and iron to make the bolt and the spring and it takes a bolt in the spring to make scrap parts and iron so it's like double triple iron cost and what i would usually do is i just come down here and just boom that's that, that. if you buy like all their stuff you can just grab a one of these monster prisons, throw it at the dude, he'll drop on the ground, and then you pick him back up, and he'll have a, a replenished inventory of fresh stock for you. So you can just do that if you run out. I doubt you will. And it's a poop farm because these guys keep shitting. I'm going to have to Pokeball a bunch of these guys soon. But yeah, that's a farm. And then I was using these other two 
farms, automated farms for uh, like enchant farms or like material farms. Because believe it or not, these old rags are really needed for a lot of stuff. But yeah, I was using uh, these guys drop it. So you can just put, if there's a monster that drops some like item you need, you can use this setup to just automate it and just get it while you're just away exploring. And then these chests will suck it up and you'll have like a bunch of iron or gold or weapons. <clears throat> I emptied these recently, because but the only problem is if these get full, they'll start lagging your game and really annoying because it doesn't really have that much space. Yeah, I use it for me, for you see wands, wizard staffs. I was really trying to get these though, old rags. But yeah, these get full real quick. Alright, but that's the automation, that's the merchant way. What you want to do after you got all those, what I did, it's like, I think there's um, a factory that you can make that will just do this automatically for you. you just make a bunch until you go to stop. But I didn't want to go find all the pieces or parts to it, and I knew I had all the parts to make a bunch of workbenches. So I just made a ton of workbenches. This is probably a faster way too, but more work. But I just go like this, just like boom, make a hundred of those. And go down here. It depends how many um, shrimp bolts you want to make. But I just go down here, boom, make a hundred of those. There's all my iron. And then craft. I do, I do that on like every one of these though. If I like had enough iron. Or if I was going this route, this is a longer route. This is way longer than the plant away. That's why I showed you plant away. But then, yeah, you do that. Go over here. Boom. Make your stuff. Also, smelt your gold. If you have any like, gold in it, whatever. You can see I'm already making a bunch. I just get those enchantments off of them. Then what you want to do is just go over here. And then make a bunch more. It's that easy. And I've already made a bunch how much I got. Going the wrong direction. Made 22 and I have 3 I inherited. So that's, and then I got this multi-sling. You can make that in, I think I showed you. You can make it in the machine factories. Right here. And those cost just some rubber. It's pretty cheap rubber, iron, logs. It's real cheap. All right, and that's how you make that. And I have an automated farm that grows like triple times the crops. But I see like there might be a diminishing return. Like the more you stack, like the less you get back. I'm not sure if that's just me or I don't know. It seemed like I should get like sometimes it just give me a harvest of 63, and it seems like I have 20 down there. I should get more than 63 back. But sometimes it feels like it gives me like 120, so I don't know. But maybe some of them aren't getting sucked up. But yeah, I'm going to go catch the frog boss now. Yeah, and the frog boss is over here, by the way. And you can only catch him on story mode. So like, <laughs> I'll show you when I go up to the gate. You can go select like which boss rush you want to do. And the story mode is the only one that lets you put down materials in there, like any items in there, like any chain bolts. Or it's the only thing that lets you build in the chamber. That's what I'm trying to say. So if you try to do this on like one of the other ones, you'd be like, you cannot build here, you cannot build here. You can only do it on the story one. Yeah, that one, the level 45 one. Can't do it on this one, can't do it on that one, can't do it on that one. Even though, and it'll probably give you the stuff anyway but yeah i'm gonna go in there and try and catch him 